Yo what's up guys my name is Hacky and welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the full checkerboard outfit in GTA 5 online without losing any outfits. I would have made this video a lot earlier but I had to unlock a few things in story mode because I didn't do one mission in story mode up until now. But I'm pretty sure like 99% of you guys already played story mode in the past and you probably do have these few things unlocked. And now just before we start this video if it goes on to help you out take two seconds to drop a like on it that'd be awesome. Also if you're new to the channel go ahead and drop a sub join the hacky army because you do not want to miss any more videos like these also don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well anyway though let's get straight into it all right so first thing go in story mode and select franklin you want to be franklin throughout this process and once you're in story mode as franklin go to this exact clothing store on the map it's this like more luxurious one in rockford hills as you guys can see up top and once you get to this exact clothing store go in the suit section right here scroll down to number 11 and you guys want to purchase this red pipe three-piece suit so go ahead and purchase that and now you want to head to another clothing store and i'll show you guys exactly which one that is when i get there and now the next clothing store is going to be this exact Exact clothing store here it is on the map it's this exact one go ahead and enter that one and once you go inside you want to go to the sweatpants section and you guys want to purchase number three so it's called the ash sweatpants go ahead and purchase that and now you guys want to head back to Franklin's house now once you get back to Franklin's house go to the closet and press right on the d-pad to change clothes then scroll all the way down to shoes and you guys want to equip the white athletic shoes so go ahead and equip that and now you guys want to be heading to the airport so you guys can either drive there or take the cool route and the cool way is basically to spawn the bus so if you don't know how to pull up your phone click on contacts then switch to the keypad and you guys want to call the number one nine 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 so three nines and then two eight nine nine six three three and then go ahead and call that and you guys should have a buzzard spawn just like that it's a nice little cheat i learned so as i said now you want to be heading to the airport and we're going to be actually using the flight school for this now once you get to the airport you guys want to pull up your phone and just quick save your game real quick just so if you guys die you can actually go back to this spot so go ahead and quick save your game and so now press start go into settings and you guys want to switch your targeting mode right here to frame because we're going to be joining someone in a different targeting mode and most people that play gta play on assisted aim so make sure it is set to frame and now you guys want to go up these stairs and go ahead and enter flight school because we're going to be using flight school as i said so go ahead and press right d-pad here and once you get to this menu make sure skydiving is unlocked so if you don't have it unlocked just go ahead and complete all of these it doesn't take too long it takes like 10 minutes total so make sure you have skydiving unlocked right here but don't start it yet you actually want to start the very first one so training takeoff go ahead and start that one up and once it starts up go ahead and press pause right away now what you want to do is join any other person in the different targeting mode so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now so once you get the first alert, go ahead and accept that. And then the second alert, go ahead and decline it. And then you guys want to go ahead and get out the plane. And as soon as you get out, you guys want to press start. So just like me here. And all you want to do now is just join a friend in a different targeting mode once again. So getting GTA Online session details. And now on this alert, once again, you want to accept this. And then on the second targeting mode alert, you guys want to sit on this alert until you guys hear the game actually say you failed. So you guys hear that? I don't know if you guys heard that, but you guys will hear the game say you failed. And so now all you guys want to do is press the home button once and then press on the game again and then do the same thing the second time. So go to home and then press on the game for the second time. And then you guys want to press B here and press pause as soon as possible. So I'm going to press B and then you guys know you did it right. If Franklin is just standing here at the place where you originally enter the flight school, I actually got it first try here, but if you didn't get it the first time, it might take a couple of tries. And if you did fail it you'll see like the flight school menu up and you're in the sky but if you did eventually get it like me here just scroll to the online tab and go ahead and load up an invite only session and you guys will actually see the flight school menu just on your screen now once you guys load back into online once again you should still have the flight school menu up so now all you guys want to do once you've fully loaded in you guys just want to go ahead and select the skydiving mission so i'm gonna wait till i actually load in here now just go ahead and select skydiving and you should have like a weird like grayish blackish screen here so as you guys can see we got like a weird screen here and you're gonna see it is gonna give you the option to jump so just go ahead and press whatever you need to jump and then pull the parachute as soon as possible and you guys want to land anywhere besides where you actually need to land which is over there in the parking lot you guys see the yellow circle right there so just go ahead and land down here on the runway or something and you guys should see your regular outfit for the first time but you guys will see the checkerboard outfit soon 
and so once you land you guys should see after a few seconds just like this it's gonna say you failed and so now on the screen just go ahead and hit retry and now you guys will see you actually have the checkerboard outfit when you actually parachute so let's go ahead and do this again so we're gonna go ahead and jump and as you guys can see just go ahead and pull the parachute as soon as possible and we have the beautiful checkerboard outfit just like me here and so this time you guys actually want to land on the yellow circle you guys see right there on the parking garage so make sure you guys actually land on that yellow circle so i'm gonna go ahead and land on this yellow circle just like this let's go that was a perfect landing and once you've landed just go ahead and take any vehicle and drive to any clothing store to go ahead and save this beautiful outfit and for some reason your character will look different i'm not really sure why but i mean once you guys save this outfit in a clothing store and switch sessions you guys will see your character looks as normal pretty much or actually i think only the haircut is different it is actually the same character so once you get to any clothing store as i said just go ahead and save this outfit and you can save it in pretty much any slot you want so i'm gonna go ahead and call it checker suit and i'm gonna go ahead and open right that one and we have now officially secured the beautiful checkerboard outfit and now you guys see i have the jacket the pants and the shoes if you guys also want the hat i'm actually going to be showing you guys what you guys need to equip in story mode if you guys want the hat as well i didn't do the hat because i didn't have a mask shop unlocked in story mode but if you guys do have it unlocked which i feel like a lot of you guys do i'm going to be showing you guys what you guys need to equip so when you're in story mode when you're buying like the suit and the sweatpants and all that you guys want to buy this as well so head into masks and it's going to be a different menu than this in story mode but but in the story mode menu you guys want to scroll down to number five and it's going to be called the dark pig mask so equip that one and then once you actually do this you guys will also have the checkerboard hat along with this outfit and some of you guys have asked in the past why i haven't showcased how to get the checkerboard outfit that's because you had to do a transfer glitch to actually get it and if you guys don't know if you do a transfer glitch you pretty much lose all outfits besides one so i just don't think personally that's worth it and now that there's a checkerboard outfit glitch that you don't have to do the transfer glitch i do think it's it's worth it so you can get this awesome checkerboard outfit without losing any outfits because you guys know i like to showcase only the easiest glitches along with the glitches that are actually worth it to do and once again i'm not a huge fan of the transfer glitch and as i said in the beginning of the video i literally didn't do one mission in story mode up until now and i think i had to do about 30 missions in order to unlock the clothing stores and the flight school in story mode so as i was making a lot of videos for you guys i was also grinding through story mode so i can actually unlock these things and i'm not sure why the character have a different haircut when you do this but once again all you guys need to do is just switch sessions and your character will have its original haircut anyway hopefully this video did go on to help you out hopefully you did go on to enjoy it if you did take two seconds to drop a like on it subscribe if you guys are new turn on the notification bell as well anyway though this has been hacky have a good rest of your day i'll see you guys in the next video and peace